Hello, canoeist Lisa D. Hart here, Three Minutes with a Main Guide. And today I'm going to give you some options, some solid techniques to get the canoe on top of the vehicle. So using a portage yoke, you know, rather than having the canoe on my head, let me just show you some things to avoid, some things that I've seen people get hurt with in the past. So if this tree is a vehicle, okay, when you've got that canoe on your shoulders and it's time to get it on the roof rack, you've traveled a little bit. You might be a little bit tuckered. You might've had to go uphill. You might've slipped a little in the mud before you got up to the parking lot. But it's rare that somebody wants to take this canoe off, put it down and rest a little bit and then put it back up and get it on the roof rack, okay? So when you choose to load this canoe standing parallel to a vehicle, you don't get the chance to set it down or you choose not to set it down and rest a little while, most people. And then there's this kind of Herculean thing where you bring it up like this and scoot it onto the rack. But if you hit the side of the roof rack or it's not balanced in the nose tips or you have to tip it back because you don't want to snap your own antenna off, there's this really bad twisting motion like this that can happen really bad for backs, really bad for knees. And if it goes uh, too far, your best choice is just to drop the canoe and go out and save yourself. And that's bad for you, bad for the canoe. So there's a different way and I'm going to show it to you. I like to approach the vehicle from the rear and just hook what would be the bow onto the center of the roof rack and rest the other end on the ground. Now you've got all day. You can rest, you can make sure doors are closed, and then just pick up what would be the stern and shove the whole thing forward. Now, when you're unloading and using this method, just be conscious that the the truck isn't sloped down towards the water because when you pull that, it's going to come towards you. Okay, so stay safe. None of us are getting any younger. And you've just met three minutes with the main guide.